Stainless steel pans are a thing of beauty. You have three ply versus five ply versus copper core. In this video, we're gonna be testing out the standard three ply stainless steel skillet versus the five ply copper core. And hopefully this video will help you decide if the extra layers are actually a cost benefit and helping with better heat distribution, response time, and overall a better cooking performance. On the other hand, are you actually better off just saving your money? Let's dive in. Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna be looking at my three ply all clad stainless steel skillet. And as you guys already know from my previous videos, my all clad three ply stainless steel skillet is my workhorse. I'm gonna be comparing it to my recently bought Kirkland Signature Costco brand five ply copper core. They're both gonna be 12 inch skillets. So I'm grabbing the two largest skillets from those sets and we're gonna be checking them out. Now, if you guys haven't already, I did a full review on the Kirkland 10 piece copper core five ply stainless steel set. And it is by far my favorite set. And honestly, I've been using it day in and day out with no problems, no warping, nothing like that. I absolutely love them. I highly recommend it. And it truly is my new favorite set. So I think they might have discontinued it or it may not be on sale right now. It might be a seasonal thing, but if you can land the Costco Kirkland signature set, the five ply copper core 10 piece set at $200, it's a steal. Okay, now before I go any further, let me explain the differences between a three ply stainless steel skillet and a five ply stainless steel skillet, or in this case, a five ply copper core. The plies that I'm referring to is literally the layers in the manufacturing process when they make these skillets. A three ply stainless steel skillet will have three layers. The outside layer will be stainless steel, followed by an inside aluminum layer, and then followed by another stainless steel layer on the outside. So you get three plies of construction, and these are constructed as a whole skillet. You're not gonna get like a welded disc on the bottom. It's gonna be one whole skillet, one solid skillet with those layers in between to make up the three ply stainless steel skillet. A five ply stainless steel skillet is very similar. They're just adding more layers, more layers of aluminum. And then finally, a five ply copper core is exactly what it sounds like. They're adding a copper layer to the five ply construction. And that copper layer has a lot of benefits. And overall, when you have the stainless steel, the aluminum, the copper, and they're all working together, you're gonna get great performance. And I'm gonna be measuring the skillets in two different ways. The first way is I'm just gonna preheat them and using my infrared gun or my thermal gun, I'm gonna be taking different measurements at different parts of the skillets in the walls. And we're gonna be looking at cold spots. We're gonna be looking at how consistent does a three ply skillet get up the temperature and preheat versus a five ply. And then for the second test, I'm gonna do one of my favorite methods, which is the Wonder Bread method. It's a great visual cue that gives you an idea of exactly what's going on with your skillet when you're preheating it. If you haven't already, check out my video where I compared different methods of preheating your skillets, visual indications to guide you, to help you understand exactly how to preheat your skillets. And I went through like four or five different methods that are really easy. Some of them are great for beginners and some of them are used by experts all over the world in their kitchen day in and day out. So if you haven't already, go check out that video. But for this video, I really think the Wonder Bread method is gonna give you guys a really good visual of what's going on with each pan and if the extra dough is worth it. So in this video, that's kind of what I'm checking out. Are you getting noticeably more performance with a five ply construction? And in this particular case, a five ply copper core construction. So let's check it out. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna be testing out my tried and true workhorse, my all clad three ply stainless steel pan. The first thing we're gonna do is set the emissivity to make sure we're getting an accurate reading off of that reflective stainless steel surface. I waited until the pan was properly preheated and then I did a continuous reading all around the pan. We do have some cold spots where we are dropping 20, even 30 degrees, but honestly, that's really good. And for a three ply skillet, I'm pretty impressed. The next thing I did was take a reading of the walls. Everyone always asks me, what's the difference between a skillet and a regular pan? Well, the walls are pretty consistent here as well. And that's also very important. Next up is the five ply copper core. 
Now the copper core is actually supposed to make the pan very responsive and we did see it preheat a little bit faster than the three ply. And the continuous reading was showing a very consistent pan that had very equal heat distribution. Okay, now it was time for the Wonder Bread method. The all clad was actually not dirty. What you're seeing here is rainbow stains from the last test, which is quite normal. If you haven't already, go watch my video on rainbow stains. We gave the pans two minutes per side to toast the bread. And after two minutes, we flipped the bread to get a visual indication of how our pans are actually performing and what they're doing. And overall, you can see here that the three ply stainless steel skillet is doing a pretty good job. We do have some cold spots and as you get further out and closer to the walls, you kind of lose some of that consistent heat distribution. Okay, next up was the five ply copper core. Now I was expecting to get a bit more consistent results, but the same heat distribution trend. Whereas you go out and further away from the center and closer to the walls, you should be getting less of heat distribution. But I was also expecting more consistency. And as you can see here, when we flip the bread over, it was basically a mirror image, which tells me that the pan's pretty consistent and pretty responsive. Okay, now lastly, I wanted to check out my budget-friendly buy, my budget-friendly recommendation. It's a three-ply stainless steel skillet made by Amazon Commercial. And I kind of wanted to throw that skillet in the mix to see, are you getting a huge difference when you compare a budget-friendly $30 stainless steel three-ply skillet versus a $120 all-clad three-ply stainless steel skillet versus the Kirkland Signature, which actually comes in a $200 set. So it's probably a budget-friendly copper core set. But the Kirkland is always being compared to the all-clad equivalent that goes for $250, the equivalent you know, five-ply copper core. So it's all very interesting. Honestly, I was not expecting too much of a drastic difference between the budget-friendly three-ply and the all-clad three-ply, but I figured while we're at it, it'd be fun to test it. So one thing that I did notice right off the bat is this skillet was sticking a bit more, but I'm gonna talk about sticking at the end of this video on my final thoughts, so stick around. Now, when we did flip the bread over, it was basically the same story. There was some dead spots on the bread, but that was mainly because of the sticking earlier. I didn't get a nice flat contact on the surface. And honestly, I was pretty impressed by this budget-friendly three-ply stainless steel skillet. Okay, so now, what are my final thoughts? What are my conclusions? Well, first off, I wanted to let you guys know that if you are a beginner, if you're a home chef, or if you're just a home cook that loves to cook, you can't go wrong with either skillet. Because really, when it comes down to the three-ply versus the five-ply, or even the five-ply copper core, there's not a significant difference that the average home cook's gonna notice. Now, if you own a restaurant, or you're a home cook that absolutely loves to cook, and you should have been a chef in the past life, or you were a chef in the past life, or something like that, then yes, you will notice a professional difference. If it's being used in a professional setting, the five ply, and in particular, the five ply copper core does distribute the heat very evenly. I also noticed it got up to operating temperature pretty quick. The interesting thing is the five ply never stuck, which was kind of interesting. I mean, I'm using Wonder Bread and Wonder Bread does stick. And you know, initially it will stick, but then it will naturally release once you know you get up to temperature and you're good to go. And the other thing that made it really interesting is it was very consistent with the three ply all clad, which is the much more expensive model, versus the three ply Amazon commercial, which is the budget friendly model, they both stuck. Now it did release eventually, but they stuck. Initially they stuck and you know, it is what it is. So that was kind of interesting. I did notice a difference in the test using the heat gun, using the thermometer, yes, there was less dead spots or less cold spots with the five ply copper core. The five ply copper core was more consistent. With the three ply, it was also really consistent. I mean, to be fair, it was very consistent and the performance of either is really good, but there were some spots that were 20 or even 30 degrees lower than the center where the direct heat from my gas stovetop was coming from. 
And that was also consistent with the Amazon commercial brand. So that was really interesting. When we did the bread test, when we did the Wonder Bread test method, you guys could see the visual cue, the visual indication of the heat distribution. Now they were all very similar where the center of the pan was, you know, where most of the heat was. And then as you kind of drifted away and got closer and closer to the outside towards the walls, obviously it's not as hot there on the outsides and there is a temperature drop and you could see that on the bread. That's why I love the bread method because you can see exactly what your pan's doing. That was pretty consistent with all the pans. And honestly, it's pretty consistent with every pan, with cast iron, with carbon steel you will see a temperature drop. You just will see less of it or more of it depending on the pan that you have. With the five ply, we saw less of it. You can actually do this many different ways. I've seen people do it with like tortillas. I've seen people do it with large pieces of like white bread. I've seen people doing it with biscuits. If you wanna do this at home using biscuits or your own method, do it and post in the comments below. Let me know what your results are. Let me know what you got. Cause it's really fun. It's really interesting and it's wasteful. I know I don't do it all the time, but it's cool to see that visual indication. So long story short, the five ply was better, but in the average everyday home cook in the kitchen, you're probably not gonna notice a difference. So if you're a beginner, if you're someone that is a home cook, you love to cook, I would save the money and just get a three ply. There is a caveat though. If you can get the Kirkland 10 piece five ply copper core set at $200, which is equivalent to one all clad five ply skillet, I think that's a score. And you're getting that five ply, you're not paying too much more for that. Actually, it's a bargain, right? You're getting the copper core. And I think that's the ultimate home chef set. There's a reason why chefs, okay, restaurant chefs will have that Kirkland signature 10 piece set for their home use. And then they'll use an all clad, you know, copper core five ply set at the restaurants. It really is that good. So really the Kirkland brand, the Kirkland signature is a wild card. And I'm not trying to make this video as, you know, a commercial for Costco's Kirkland signature pants. I'm not. Okay. But it really is a wild card because you know, five, even 10 years ago, the copper core set was unheard of. That was something that was very exclusive to all clad and they were very expensive. So I think Kirkland changed the game, but if we're talking specifically three ply versus five ply, and we're just looking at the ply, the construction of the skillets, there's not a huge noticeable difference, even with the copper core. But if we're looking at value, the Kirkland's just way too good to pass up. So long story short, there really isn't that big of a noticeable difference, but the Kirkland's just way too good to pass up. So just get the Kirkland. That's it for me, guys. I hope you found this video informative. Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Hey, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Please support the channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing with your family and friends. Follow us on social media and check out our new merchandise store. And above all, Thank you for supporting this channel and thank you for watching.